they advised the visitors Saturday not to go in, but four did, and only three came back. Aloha, my name is Daniel Durking. I am a fire captain with HFD. Um, I'm currently stationed at the Pahala Fire Station. I've been stationed here for about 11 years and um, responsible for um, emergency response in the Kau District. Um, the Kau District is one of the largest on the island. It is the largest on the island. The entire district is the size of Oahu, um, and there's currently two fire companies um, in charge of emergency response. This would be District 11, uh, Company 11, um, and also Company 20 in the Ocean View area. Uh, District 11 uh, is, again, the largest, one of the largest areas on the island. Um, there are a lot of very remote areas. Um, some of these areas is visited by many visitors every day, as well as on the weekends by um, the local community as well. Some of these areas are um, made up of many off-roads, difficult roads to actually get to the, these areas, making our response time uh, very long in case there was an emergency in these areas. For the South Point area, um, just because of the distance and time it takes us to get there, for the Pahala Fire Station to South Point is a little over 30 miles from the ambulance station in Nalehu is about 20 miles. So response time to in those areas would be um, at least 30 to 40 minutes. And this is on-road driving. Anything off of those uh, on-roads into the off-road areas would, would add uh, a greater amount of time. So depending on where the emergency was, in some places it could be up to an hour of on-road driving time. Um, our rescue company, which is stationed at uh, Station 2 at the Waiakea Fire Station in Keokaha, they're about a 75 mile drive away. Um, their helicopter also would take about the same roughly 30 to 40 minutes. So that's usually the normal um, of response time in these remote areas. So S South Point is an area um, that we have frequent ca calls. It is the most remote, remote area um, in, in our district. It's the farthest away um, of the entire East Side Battalion. It's on the most southern end of the island. And again, it's roughly a 40 minute uh, response time. So typically the calls that we see um, in the South Point area, aside from brush fires or wildland, would be rescue type of calls. And this is mainly because of the amount of visitors that visit there every day and the type of activities that they're choosing to partake in. Um, because of social media, um, things online, it's a highly visited spot, mainly due to the activity of jumping off of the cliff. Um, so this area is uh, roughly a 40 foot um, high cliff. Um, it's into uh, uh, a very deep ocean, very clear, very inviting. Um, it's a beautiful area to visit on a nice day. However, um, in certain times of the year, certain times there may be high surf, um, large northwest and west swells do push into this area. Winds can be strong and you also have the um, converging of two major currents in this area in the point area which all of these um, conditions can combine and make it very dangerous to actually be jumping into the ocean from this high cliff. So just this year in 2024 we've had three incidents so far that have highlighted kind of what um, what type of emergencies that we respond to. So in early um, January, um, during a period of high surf, high wind, um, a party of four jumped off the cliff into the ocean and was not able to make it back. So eventually, um, three persons of this four-person party was able to make, back, make it back up the cliff. And unfortunately, there was a fatality. And this was from a visitor from the States. Um, a couple weeks later, there was a, a similar incident in which we responded to where two people were swept out after jumping into the ocean from the cliff. Um, luckily, they were assisted by the local fishermen by throwing a flotation device to them 
and then a local fisherman on a boat was able to pick both of these parties up and make their way back to the boat ramp at Kalana Bay and they were uninjured. Um, in, in February, there was a, another incident where a visitor drove his vehicle off of the cliff. He ended up um, inside of the ocean drifting off and eventually made it to the bottom of the cliffside on the rocks under his own power and eventually was assisted by our rescue company with their specialized skill and equipment to get him up to the rocks and he was later transported via our medical helicopter to a hospital and he was in serious condition so just this year alone those three incidents kind of highlight of what type of emergencies that we do respond to in the South Point area. Um, some of the tips that I could offer would be um, just do your own research and pre-incident planning and um, before you actually even arrive to the islands or actually arrive to that area in which you want to visit. There's a lot of info online in which you can become more familiar with on the specific dangers, the type of activities that are involved over there. Once you do reach the area, I would say just take a moment to observe the conditions um, that's going on at that very moment. Observe the water conditions, if there's any swells, high surf, observe the wind, um, the time of the day. A lot of places on the island can be very different um, in which you drive to or drive from and by the time you reach this area in South Point it could be different. Um, another tip would be if you do choose to jump in um, try to observe where these exit points would be um, in the South Point area at this in this area there's only really a couple different exit points. One would be using a makeshift ladder that's kind of a, um, a piecemeal three-piece ladder that people have tied together. It's not an easy climb to make. Um, another exit point would be actually scaling up um, this, this pretty vertical and pretty hard climb cliff. Um, to, to actually do that, the swell activity has to be very minimal as well. So finding an exit point if you do choose to jump would be very great. Um, also, if you are gonna jump, just know your ability. Are you able um, to tread water, to swim, to swim without flotation devices, to swim without fins? Are you able and um, are you just able to do that without, without the assistance from anyone else? Can you, are you able to do that on your own? Um, so again, my name is Daniel Durking. I'm a fire captain stationed in the Kau district at Pahala Fire Station. Um, just would like to offer that people just stay safe, um, whether it's visitors or locals, we're here to serve the community. Um, if there's any doubt in the activity that you wanna take place in, and if it's dangerous, I would say just, just be safe and not engage in that activity, especially if it's a high risk activity.